Mosi society is complex. There is a political class, descended from ancient conquerors, and a spiritual class, descended from the ancient farmers who were conquered. Mosi art is also complex. There is political art, used by the ruling class, and religious art, used by the spiritual class. In addition, there are several styles of spiritual art, which mirror the locations of the several peoples who were conquered five centuries ago. The rulers or chiefs are called Naba, and their relatives are called Nakomse. They are all descended from groups of young horsemen who rode north into the basin of the Volta rivers in about 1500 AD and conquered the many peoples who had been living there for centuries. The subjugated peoples are called Nyonyosi, or ancient ones, and their spiritual leader is the Tengsoba, or chief of the land. They hold spiritual power by right of the fact that their ancestors first settled the land well before 1500 AD. In 1500 these horsemen rode into the area of the headwaters of the Volta rivers and conquered the local farming peoples. They forced the conquered peoples to speak their language, called More. They married the daughters of the conquered farmers and forced the men to serve in their army and to pay taxes. Otherwise they allowed the conquered class to maintain their religious traditions, especially to continue to carve and use masks that represent the spirits of the wilderness. They welded conquerors and conquered alike into a new people called Mosi, where no such people had existed before. The rulers, or Nakamse, use carved wooden figures that represent their royal ancestors and validate their rule. They also use art associated with the horse, which was their main weapon and means of conquest. Leather saddles and bridles, brass bits and stirrups, posts for tethering horses, and beautiful woven blankets to serve as saddle pads. All of these objects are displayed in public every year at royal festivals that reaffirm the right of the Nakamse to rule. The spiritual class, or Nyonyosi, use masks that represent the spirits of nature, of the wilderness, and of the earth. These masks appear at the funerals of elders when they permit the spirit of the deceased to travel to the world of ancestors. Before the conquest by the Nakomse in 1500 AD, there were several diverse peoples living in the valleys of the Volta rivers. The Dogon lived in the northwest, their Gomanche lived in the east around what is now the town of Bulsa, and the Gurunsi peoples, including Leila, Nuna, Sisala, and Winayama, lived in the southwest around what is now the capital, Ouagadougou. Each of these different peoples created masks in different and distinctive styles. The Dogon in the north carved vertical plank masks, the Gurunsi in the southwest created horizontal animal masks worn on top of the head, and the peoples of the east made vertical masks of wood with thick red and black fiber costumes. The descendants of these many peoples continue to the present to make masks that mirror the diverse origins of the peoples who were conquered in 1500 and were welded into the new population called Mosi. This short video is intended to demonstrate the complexity of Mosi art as a mirror of the complex history of the creation of the Mosi peoples. You will see examples of the masks from each of the three major style areas, north, southwest, and east, being used in traditional f funerals in the villages where they were created. Some of the video was made in 1976 and 1977, some of it in 2010. These are northern Mosi masks, of the type most frequently seen in the kingdom of Yatenga. The ancestors of these people, before 1500, were Dogon. This is a funeral in a small town in 1976.
These are masks from the far eastern area, near the towns of Bulsa and Zegedegan. The people who use these masks are descended from much more recent immigrants into the region.
These are animal-headed masks from the southwest kingdom of Ouagadougou. The ancestors of the people who use these masks today were Leila, Nuna, Winayama, and Sisala, all of whom the Mosi call Gurunsi. This was filmed in 2010 in the village of Twegan, a short distance northwest of Ouagadougou. <laughs> Oh, yeah.